Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Park. Uh, it's a great honor and privilege to come here to share with you some of my thoughts. Um, as uh, Ambassador Park mentioned, I was lucky enough to be invited to uh, uh, not to participate, but actually to watch <laughs> the, uh, the opening and the closing ceremony of the 19th Party Congress. Uh, as a member of the CPPCC, uh, the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, uh, standing committee of that uh, organization. Uh, uh, and uh, why, why, why did he spend three and a half hours? <laughs> I, think, I think this is a special occasion. Uh, and he wants to uh, enunciate uh, or explain his uh, 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 systematically his thoughts uh, in a systematic way. Okay. Uh, now that thought has been included uh, into the party charter and probably uh, next, early next year will be included into the constitution. Uh, they will revi maybe uh, they will revive a little bit uh, the, the constitution to insert the his uh, thought on socialism of Chinese characteristics in the new era, <laughs> that clause probably will be inserted into the Chinese constitution next year when the Chinese People's Congress is held. So he needs the time to, ex to, to uh, explain his views uh, and also uh, uh, there are a lot of things in the party in his report. Uh, I think uh, it deserves a careful study. Uh, uh, I was sitting there trying to <laughs> understand what's going on, uh, and I was quite impressed. Uh, a lot of things were mentioned uh, uh, in the in the report. Uh, uh, one of the things that probably we should pay attention to is that he 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 talked about the principal contradiction facing Chinese society. Now he says it's between the unbalanced and inadequate development and people's ever-growing needs for a better life. Okay. So, so this is the central uh, problem that the Chinese Communist Party is supposed to deal with in the years ahead. Okay. Uh, in the past, it was something like uh, uh, some kind, something like uh, backward uh, level of economic development uh, versus the uh, the socialist uh, social relations, or something like that. Uh, how, do, how how do we put it? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> The people's pursuit for better life, the contradiction between the people's pursuit for better life and the backward productive force. Backward productive. Back. Yeah. Now he thinks that China is no longer that backward. But then China's economic development is, is uh, in, uh, inadequate and unbalanced to meet the ever-changing demands of the people for a better life. Uh, and, uh, and also he talked about the change uh, of the way of development, uh, uh, which means that less emphasis on GDP growth uh, and more emphasis on the quality of growth, of economic growth. Okay. Yeah, it sounds great. Uh, and also he talks about the environment. Uh, he says, green mountains and clear waters are better than mountains of gold and silver. Okay. And of course, he also talked about the necessity of rule of law. Uh, uh, you know, Chinese understanding of rule of law is somewhat different from what is understood here. And, and also democracy. Uh, some people regard Chinese democracy, uh, you know, CPPCC, you know, the organization to which I belong, uh, is uh, uh, something special uh, in the Chinese democracy. Uh, CPPCC uh, is an uh, organization like a Senate without legislative power. Okay? It's a consultative body 
uh, order, orderly consultation uh, to help uh, involving different democratic parties. We have eight democratic parties, and a lot of social organizations are represented in that institution. They are supposed to help the Chinese Communist Party to rule uh, by voicing criticisms in a constructive way, rather than in a, rather than trying to take over. Okay. Uh, and also on foreign policy, he talks about the uh, you know common trying to build a community of common destiny. In other words, I think he believes that you know we are in the same boat. Uh, we should help each other. Our interests are not uh, zero sum. Uh, you know, our competition. We can have competition, but it's where our relationship is not a zero sum relationship. Uh, we can, through our efforts, to achieve a win win uh, outcome. And he spent a lot of time talk about uh, how to uh, run the party, how to ref make the party. Um, more uh, uh, clean and more effective. Uh, on foreign policy, uh, we find both continuity and change in China's foreign uh, in, in, in the foreign in the policy. On the continuity side, uh, you know he's he has been talking about non-zero sum game uh, uh, in, as China's approach to. Its relationship with the outside world. Uh, I remember years ago, uh, probably six years ago, where he was the vice president of of, of the you know, PRC. Uh, he gave a speech at Tsinghua University. He said, uh, "If we, if you want to develop, you should let other countries develop. If you want uh, want to have security, you should make sure that other countries have security." If you want to have a better life, you should make sure that other countries have a better life. Uh, I think he has adhered to this kind of a, uh, a reasoning and approach uh, on China's relationship with the outside world. And the community of common destiny is a concept that he has been using for some time. And also he talked about multilateral cooperation uh, as a, a way to uh, uh, deal with uh, international and global problems, and, and also he he also talked about China should you know should assume great uh, power responsibilities uh, in world of in, in dealing with world affairs. In terms of change, uh, I think uh, if you read the report very carefully, I mean the foreign policy section, he talked about at one place. Uh, that China should help maintain the world order. Yeah. Yeah. In the past, you know, China, Chinese government, you know, the Chinese Communist parties always talked about uh, how to reform uh, the world order to make it uh, more just and fair. Now he's still talking about try to make uh, the world order more just and fair, but at the same time he talked about maintaining the world order. So uh, clearly, uh, uh, I think uh, it means two things. One is uh, China has benefited from the world order, and now now China look at the world order from a stakeholder's perspective. The second is, as China rises, okay, uh, China increasingly uh, uh, becomes a superpower. A superpower cannot take a free ride in the world order. It has to take care of the world order. Uh, if you take a free ride, the bus collapses. So, uh, so that to some extent uh, is something new, I think. Uh, and also, China, he talked about China's successful developmental experience uh, represent another option to other developing countries when they try to develop. Okay. Uh, this has uh, caused a lot of uh, repercussion uh, in uh, other countries. Uh, some people say that Chi the, the Chinese Communist Party is, is coming up with alternative to the American or Western 
approach to development. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, but this is probably for a long time, for the first time, that the Chinese Communist Party is talking about uh, the so-called Chinese approach uh, in dealing with uh, growth uh, as a sort of, uh, uh, as something with, with, with uh, international implications. Okay. Uh, in other words, uh, it can be a frame of reference for other countries to, to, to think about how to develop their, their own countries. I think in general, uh, the, 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 the foreign policy section is, sounds very positive. Uh, I think the, if these views accept the point on, on, on the pr approach to development uh, as a, inter another option, uh, if these views were, represented by, uh, were presented by Donald Trump, probably uh, the world would be exhilarated. Um, um, given the fact that he's talking about America first rather than uh, multilateral cooperation. The second point is one should not regard Xi's claim that China's developmental experience provides another option to developing countries as the beginning of Chinese efforts to push for the so-called China model. Okay. Actually, uh, the Chinese model, I, I, don't, I don't know whether there is a Chinese model. Okay. Uh, basically, we are talking about uh, socialism with Chinese characteristics. Okay. If you talk about Chinese characteris characteristics, it is not s supposed to be replicated. Okay. Uh, but basically, uh, so there is no Chinese, Chinese model in a universal sense. Okay. Uh, China officially labels the, the approach as socialism with Chinese characteristics. It stresses on the uniqueness rather than universality of the China's developmental experience. Okay. That is to say, there is no universal model for development. Every country should adopt their uh, own approach to development according to their own country's unique conditions. Okay. Uh, in other words, you, do, you don't have to follow the Western approach your development, find your own approach uh, on the basis of uh, your situation. China has been successful in this regard. You can be successful too. Uh, that's the message, I think. Uh, so what do we expect uh, in the next five years? Uh, I think we'll have more continuity than change uh, in China's foreign policy. Second, uh, uh, Chinese foreign policy would have more Xi's imprint. Uh, in other words, uh, if during the p past five years, uh, you know, s certain uh, institutions in China conducting foreign policy, they have more leeways. Now in the days to come, probably there will be more, uh, probably they, they have already learned Xi's ideas as to how to conduct the foreign policy. Probably there will be more uniformed approach. And also, probably China's foreign policy would be more nuanced and pra pragmatic, <clears throat> given the fact that, you know, she and uh, the new team have uh, five years to learn how to deal with uh, uh, international relations uh, and perfect their skills. Uh, yeah, let me stop here. I think I've talked okay. long enough. Uh, another uh, round. Uh, before I invite our second uh, panelist from China, I will have some, based on what you presented, I will, have, I will give some very quick uh, questions, but you don't have to reply right now, maybe. The first question will be why uh, President Xi did not appoint uh, his heir apparent as, uh, you know, as previous you know, president did. Uh, second, uh, will he uh, there's many uh, speculation that he will definitely extend uh, his stay in powers after five years later. So uh, maybe uh, officially or with some other, uh, other uh, indirect way. And you, t uh, you mentioned that there will be 
uh, more continuity than change. Uh, but in accordance with his, uh, you know, uh, phrase, I mean, gradual, you know, step-by-step uh, -step approaches, uh, it is, uh, you know, outside uh, observers have some conviction that in the year of 2050, uh, China will arbiter in the Asia Pacific region, in politically or in the military. So maybe uh, there is another uh, uh, you know, concern. And also, uh, you know, we expect uh, the future China during the uh, next five years will be more assertive than before, based on what achieved during the first Xi Jinping's, you know, the, uh, you know uh, some satisfactory achievement. As we saw, the same assertiveness uh, foreign policies, uh, which uh, just in the wake of uh, Beijing's Olympic Games 2008. So, uh, you know, it is evident that people uh, outside the world experienced a very assertive, uh, you know, assertive change of the, uh, their uh, outside, you know, foreign policies. So, uh, we have some uh, similar uh, analogy uh, could be made, you know, based on past observ uh, observation. So maybe uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, expect your answers. And also, you mentioned the developing uh, countries, uh, you know, based on Chinese model. But we have to very carefully watch out that the most of the uh, current uh, Chinese, uh, you know, uh, cooperation based on loan, not uh, based on grant. So uh, th this principle is uh, very difficult from the uh, you know uh, OECD uh, DAX you know the, uh, practice. So uh, you know so I don't know why you know China tried this very uh, very independent unique you know model. Uh, 